Today we're making two net carb keto waffles. Let's go. I'm coming home. Hey y'all and welcome back to Ormsby Farm. I'm Casey. Um, so today we're making a yummy, yummy two net carb waffle. As most of y'all know who follow us, me and mom have been on our keto kick diet wise and I found this recipe and I was like, oh my God, it's so good. I need to do a video on it. So I'm doing a video. Um, now, the recipe is from delish.com and I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description box but it will also be on our website, ormsbeefarm.com. Um, now I'm doing a double recipe because what I'm gonna do is cook them freeze them and then have them like as like frozen keto waffles to put in the toaster or heat up however you want to heat up. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. I'm doing two different angles today because I'm wanting to show you the ingredients and how everything is. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. Alrighty, so I'm going to move kind of these out the way so that we can go ahead and get started. I've already pre-measured out in all my different bowls all of the ingredients. Again, I will make sure to leave that in the description box. So if you too want to make these keto waffles, you can. So the first step is the eight large eggs. Now again, remember I'm doing a double batch. Um, and we haven't started raising our own chickens yet because we haven't found the perfect farmland, but we do do organic cage-free eggs. So that's what these are. These are organic brown cage-free egg. Um, it's one cup of almond flour eight ounces of cream cheese now let me just say this I like melted cream cheese it doesn't say that in the recipe you can do room temperature softened cream cheese I think it blends easier um, and I like it, so I melt my cream cheese first. And then four tablespoons of butter, melted butter. It does say that in the recipe. So for your dry ingredients, you want two teaspoons of baking powder. And when I first did this recipe, I did baking soda because I'm such a cuckoo sometimes. Um, but it is baking powder, two teaspoons. And this is an optional ingredient. Um, now, um, on the keto, there's different types of the all-natural calorie-free sugar. Um, this is stevia, and it's two tablespoons. But again, I'm doing eight waffles, so it really, in the long run, is not that much of it. Huh? And last but not least is two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Any vanilla extract will do. I actually make my own, and I think I got the recipe, I think from... Andrea over at VW Family Farm, which I'm wearing their shirt today. Um, so I will leave that video above if it's her. It could have been Sarah from Living Traditions Homestead. It's one of them. Um, I know that, but I'll leave the link to that video right up here. But it's two teaspoons. Uh, and y'all, let me just say, if you have not made your own vanilla extract, which is one, super simple, but it is so good and so smells so good it tastes so much better than store-bought but you can use store-bought and so basically what we're gonna do next is just blend it all up together um, I love my handy dandy immersion blender and it's a, one of the cheapos it's the cheapo from Walmart it's a Hampton Beach but it came with two settings so it came with the immersion blending one and then it came with the whisk also and I'm telling you it works so good. So this make it kind of loud, but I'm going to go ahead and blend all this good stuff up. Oh my god, y'all, I just splattered all over. <laughs> oh 
though the struggle is real today. Which is no good because me and mom and uh, Chris and Tara are shooting like 400 billion videos today, so. Oh my god, I'm like shooting. What am I doing with my life? Let me mix it up first so it don't get too crazy. So, y'all. I hadn't done this recipe for two cameras. Again, I'm doing two cameras right here. And I realized that if you tilt it, it splatters everywhere. Huh. Winning! So we're back, I've cleaned up, I've poured it into this handy dandy little pancake dispenser. Um, I know y'all have probably seen me use them in another video. Um, I will link all of the different stuff that I've used equipment wise in our Amazon store, which our affiliate link is down below in the description box. Um, what most of y'all don't know, it's during right before, in between season two and season three of Being Casey, my family's reality show. I was working as an assistant manager at a J. Christopher's, multiple ones, um, and that's where I kind of learned these little tricks that I'm going to use to keep the from the waffle iron from sticking and you know all that kind of good stuff. Now this is an oldie, it's an oldie book goodie, it's a Toastmaster, and um, she still works real good, and I don't even know if I'll be able to find it on Amazon, <laughs> attach it in our link, but I will try my best. So one thing is, get the iron up to the right temperature. One thing that I learned is spraying it down. Now I know there are many other sprays that you can get that are better for you. Um, I know Andrea just put out a video um, with her friend who has an olive oil and vinegar bar. Um, and she has a little spray contraption which I'm gonna get and try. Um, but for right now, okay, I'm gonna have to do. And just spray the top and spray the bottom. Now, you don't need a lot of batter in there because it's gonna spread out and it's gonna puff up. So I literally do like maybe two squeezes. I just like to tilt it back. Because let me tell you, the keto waffle batter is a lot thinner. Destiny always want to block. Um, the keto waffle batter is usually thinner than the regular waffle batter. So, you know, don't let it overflow. I got a plate right here just to make sure I'm not spilling all over this beautiful portable island that Brother Chris made for me. So I usually do it for like maybe three minutes. So I'll start a timer. And so I couldn't remember if I actually said it. So while I'm up there cooking it, I'm just gonna pop in and say, once you have frozen your keto waffles, I like to do it for about an hour, then put it in a Ziploc, and then let them sit overnight for about 24 hours. Then you can toast them like an Eggo waffle. You can put them under the broiler, three minutes on each side to get them nice and toasty. Um, I'm also gonna do a fun little recipe for keto chicken and waffles using the quarters of the waffle, so you won't wanna miss that. So make sure you are liking and subscribing to our channel so you don't miss all these fun recipes. All right, back to cooking. All right, y'all, so I have all of the keto waffles now on this cookie sheet, and it made eight waffles, the size that I did. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put them in the freezer uh, for about an hour, and then once they're hard, um, I can then put them in Ziploc bags, and then it's kind of like your own Eggo waffle, which is kind of cool. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this into the freezer, and then... We will be taking that to this. So excited. Okay. okay. 
Now, y'all don't judge me on my bacon. I like it crispy. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. mm, my God. It's so good, y'all. And one thing, I don't know if you really can see it. The recipe calls for keto syrup. Um, I love log cabin and with the fewer calories and the sugar free the nutritional label on the back you can do the keto math and it's you know it's carb minus um, fiber minus sugar and so two tablespoons is one of this so yum so I drizzle on top of it so I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this y'all if you're liking these videos from myself from mom brother Chris and Tara make sure to like and subscribe Hit that bell icon so you know anytime new content drops on our channel. Share our videos on social media with like-minded people. We would greatly appreciate it. It really does help our channel grow. If you have questions on this or have made it for yourself, leave a comment in the comment section. I'd love to see your comments and your videos and your pictures of you doing the keto uh, waffles. So put it down below and we'll get back to you. So until next video, be blessed. I'm coming